We allow people in this country to buy weapons that were designed, engineered, and sold to the United States military for the express purpose of killing people as effectively as possible in as great a number as possible. And an AR-15 gunshot wound, that high-impact, high-velocity round, will blow a hole through your back the size of an orange. You will bleed to death before it's like not even have anybody can work. get to you and save your life because that's exactly what it was designed to do, to keep that enemy soldier down and not claim the life of one of our own. Now, if you own an AR-15, keep it. Continue to use it responsibly and safely. I just don't think that we need to sell any more weapons of war into this public. Gosh, can he talk with his hands any more than he does? I feel like he's about to take flight. The hell was that? Like, seriously, what, what kind of discussion was that? That's not even how ballistics work, number one. Number two, is, did I hear him correctly that he says that all our soldiers are carrying AR-15s on the battlefield? Because that's not how that works either. I think what he's talking about is the M16, which is actually the military grade, if you want to have military grade conversations, uh, version of the AR-15. The AR-15 was incredibly lightweight. That actually got started in the civilian market before it was later adapted by the military after Stouffer's patent ran out in 1977. Things which Beta or Work should know as much as, as well as he knows the power cords from his Mel Bay power cord book whenever he goes down to Austin or anywhere else and tries to wow people with his hipster cred which it pales in comparison to what he doesn't know about firearms or firearm law.